Hi, I'm Jacqueline St. James. You don't have to drop big bills on your big day. I know it sounds shocking, but check out my top 10 tips on how to cut costs and still have the wedding of your dreams on the next episode of Elegance and Sophistication. Welcome back. Every bride wants his or her wedding day to be the most beautiful day of their life. But there's no need to land yourself in the poorhouse in order to make this long-awaited dream come true. My rule of thumb here, there's no need to spend a ton of money to have an elegant wedding. You don't have to buy a lot of things or have an abundance of trinkets to have a lavish, well-done wedding. Anyone on a budget can have a beautiful ceremony and reception. There is beauty and extravagance, yes, but there's also beauty in simplicity. Here are my 10 top money-saving tricks that will cut back on costs, but not the class. Create your budget before spending a dime. Before booking or buying one thing for your big day, I strongly advise to figure out how much money is in your wedding fund. Ensure that you have enough money to purchase what you want, and keeping you out of the disaster zone of debt to come home to from your honeymoon is a priority here. And while every bride's budget is different, I offer these percentages as a guide on how your money should be spent. Take a look at my chart here. I allow food and beverage 30%, 15% for flowers and decorations. I give myself an extra cushion of 10%. Don't forget about entertainment at 10%. 8% for venue rental. Lighting and sound at about 5%. 5% for tipping, 4% for photos and, ven and video, cake 3%, printing materials like invitations or announcements at 2%, transportation to and from the church and airport if or hotel at 2%, hair and makeup 2%, the dress 2%, and accessories 2%. Remember to aim low on the guest list. Guarantee your venue the lowest guest count possible. You can always go up from there and you won't ever be contractual, obligated to pay for more than people than you can guarantee. Remember to explore your drink options. Beverages could run you a fortune, but the first thing to ask your venue is about special drink packages. I also suggest asking about the difference in price and quality between premium bar and top shelf bar, as well as asking if you can bring your own alcohol and pay a corkage fee. And don't forget to inquire about food choices. Keep in mind that scaling down from a four course dinner to a three course dinner can save you a lot of money. Also, certain entrees and hors d'oeuvres may be priced lower than others along with foregoing food stations and opting for past hors d'oeuvres. When it comes to flowers, think variety. To cut costs from having to pay for large arrangements for each table, ask for a mixture of high-low arrangements or a variation of three correlating arrangement designs. Varying in cost and mixing throughout the tables this will get you out of paying for all those large arrangements and will also add aesthetic variety to look to the look of your reception on many visual levels. Try to find a two-for-one company when it comes to photography. Some brides hire both photographers and videographers, but if your budget doesn't allow to hire two professionals, search for a company that can offer you a package deal for both services. Another way to save is to have your photographer put your wedding day photos into a video montage with music. For the music, go with one source. Have the same vendor provide you with the music for each part of your wedding. If you want a harpist for your ceremony, a trio for your cocktail hour, and a band for your reception, 
keep it in the family. It will be more organized, and you could get and you could potentially save a lot of money this way. Instead of having all different types of bands and, and instruments, you could just play it into your event. For you ladies out there, or some guys, ask about your bridal gown bargains. When it comes to buying your dress, I suggest asking bridal departments and salons about upcoming sales and designer trunk shows. Remember, smaller boutiques may be willing to bargain, so if you buy all your accessories in one place, they may just come down in the price. Okay, this one you're going to laugh when I say this. Buying a fake cake. Yes, believe it or not, you can rent a fake wedding cake. Okay, no one will ever know, so don't get all freaked out. Realistically decorated and beautifully adorned to match your wedding, these faux wedding cakes are made for display only, yet contain a small section to cut into for show. Hidden in the back, servers will pre-cut sheet cakes and serve for a dessert illusion that will save you hundreds of dollars. And last but not least, remember to choose a full venue. Keep in mind that when you find a venue that is just one big empty space, your budget will need to expand since you will have to bring in everything from chairs to chinaware. So look for a venue that has these items in stock and you will save yourself a bundle in both money and effort. Well, this wraps up my episodes for weddings. I do hope that you have, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me at www.jacquelinstjames.weebly.com for more information. Also, you can rewatch any of the episodes that you may have missed on my YouTube channel for my wedding information and advice. Thanks for watching, and I do hope that you have a special day, and it will be the most rememberable. For Elegance and Sophistication, I'm Jacqueline St. James. I'll definitely see you next time. Bye-bye.